What's up, what's up my G's? In this video, I'm going to show you 7 ways to smash any Nigerian girl you want on the very first date. This is a video you like to watch till the end. Boy, have I got tea to spill for you guys. And at the very end, I'm giving you a bonus tip. So yeah, let's go. Tip number one, look sharp and dangerous. So if you saw my last video on how to get any Nigerian girl you want, I spoke on something like this. The trick is to look sharp and dangerous at the same time. The ultimate goal is to give off these bad boy vibes. But at the same time, you don't need to look like a street tag bearer. I mean, don't look like brother Shaggy. Clean up, look good, look fresh. If you've got a leather jacket that's good for you, a jean jacket, that's perfect. Throw it on with some jeans and make sure your hair is looking good and crisp. So you now do it. <laughs> what this does for a psychologist is that she believes this guy can protect her in case anything goes wrong. I mean, that's getting involved with thousands of years of evolution. We all evolved from this hotter gadra society where the strongest survives and the weak die off. And the women are always looking to meet the strongest mate, which is good for their survival and also for the survival of their offsprings. So yeah, make sure you're not looking like a bottom crab. And that leads me to my second point, which is be confident. I mean, there's no point dressing up and looking at this bad boy vibe when you can't back it up. It's your confidence and ability to maintain eye contact that really backs up that bad boy vibes that you're giving up in the first place. Make sure you appear bold, confident, like, yo, what are you afraid of? It's just a lady. Look her in the eyes. I don't care how fine her shoe is, bro. Look her in the eyes, okay? Tip number three is to take her somewhere unusual. One mistake many guys make is that once they like this girl very much, they always tend to take her to a high brow area, maybe like a fancy restaurant to eat or something like that. But the problem is that every other guy does that. She's been to those fancy restaurants over and over. What you need to do is to take her out of that comfort zone and to a place that is unusual, a place that will, you know, spike those tingling feelings in her brain of new novelty and all that. And a very good place of advice is to take her to a bar. In, in a bar, there's alcohol and there's loud music. Yeah, I know some dating coaches will tell you don't take her out to a bar that's loud music so that people can be talking. But then when you are talking because you don't know each other, there's always this awkward pauses that will come in between that will make you, the guy, appear as though you are boring. And I'm not saying that you should, you know, go and get her drunk and take advantage of her. No, that's not what I'm saying. Once people take alcohol and they get a little tipsy they tend to open up more just a few shots and you guys are free you can talk about anything the conversation will keep flowing 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 and if it is a very nice like a hotel kind of location when the music gets high in the night again yeah, you guys can even stand up and dance and that builds like that kind of yeah this guy is actually a very interesting person because you also want to appear interesting you don't want to be boring and you know people actually get very naughty when they are tipsy so all that naughtiness that she's trying to put in now starts surfacing they got to be ba 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 so while you guys are out on the date tip number four is to keep the conversation light and playful bro you don't need to start talking about peter or b or all those kind of things unless somehow the conversation came in boy you don't need to be talking about very serious things like world hunger no 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 keep it playful keep it light and always put in one or two words that are incitive you can say something like i really want to put it in yeah something like that she will not be thinking i ah, put what in you know those kind of things that are like messing with her on the sexual level she's like feeling is like okay what is this guy meaning okay you now say i love it tight and wet yeah <laughs> kind of like please with her mind just look at around your environment whatever you can use but don't make it so plain that you now appear as though you are a pervert and when you are talking don't be too friendly in your conversation always punch it in once in a while that okay oh this date we are on now it's not i don't want to come and be friends with you see the direction yeah don't think that i'm coming here to be your best or anything you get we are biological beings and we react to touch to smell and to all these things so when you touch somebody it is kind of like intimate touch is a signal of trust that's why we have handshakes that's why we have hugs because those things signal trust so what you need to do is to induce that trust in her even though she doesn't really trust you yet how you do it is that you make sure you touch her those light touches light touches when you guys are talking just in playing ah you're so funny you thought you tap her ah you're so dizzy you touch her and in her brain she's beginning to trust you the more you touch her the more that trust is building because that is just biology that's how our head is wired make sure you initiate physical contact bro if you don't touch somebody there, there's virtually no way you can do the do you have to touch to do the do you get what i'm saying <laughs> yeah so make sure you initiate that physical contacting contacting and also when you touch her physically it also shows this confidence and it shows that you can go out of your comfort zone and that is like bro that's playing with a lot of things so initiate that physical contact okay so the night is going good everybody's having fun make sure you take her back to your house because the goal here is to smash you get me or if you guys are going to lodge in a hotel room but make sure you take her to a place where you are in control i wouldn't advise you go back to her place there's just a lot of things you have to play with when it is in her place but take her to a place where you are in control because when you are there that's where actually the do will happen you get you guys won't do it on the road now unless that kind of thing so yeah make sure you take her back to your place and hopefully all the game you have played from number one number two number three to this point will work for you and the final point is don't force her if she no agree 
don't force her if she refuses you can do all these things take her back to your place and she, she doesn't want to there are a lot of reasons that she may refuse just don't force her you can't really tell us in the mind of a woman totally you can't you can't just guess because i can tell you so many reasons why she will not agree could be because of her past maybe she feels if she gives it up on that first date you won't respect her and all that she wants to keep you for the long run but make sure you played your part in these 16 that i've showed you but the bonus point i told you guys about when you're on a date with anybody any girl any band any woman make sure you have deodorant on boy you don't want to go there smelling like fish put deodorant on it's not even that expensive these days they're very cheap deodorants you can buy for like even one five zero that deodorants like that make sure you pour something and you're smelling clean fresh that gives her the feeling that this guy is actually a very neat person up kept person and that kind of shine but boy now day that being said guys if you're not subscribed to this channel hit the red subscribe button right now and i'll see you in the next video boom